I'm being inducted into the BMLS profession. I'm getting inducted into the biomedical laboratory science profession today. I'm being inducted into the BMLS profession. Currently, I feel elated. I'm excited. It feels like a heavy burden has been lifted off my shoulders. After so many years of working hard or putting in the effort, I can finally say I'm a biomedical laboratory scientist. So yes. I'm very excited to be getting inducted into the profession today and I'm particularly happy for my parents because they've waited a very long time for this. I'm happy for my classmates because through all everything we've been through, we are all coming out of this together. I'm very, very excited to be getting inducted today. Being inducted today, I feel very happy and I'm really grateful to God. I'm also grateful to my parents. I'm grateful to my lecturers. I'm grateful to everyone that has helped me on this journey so far. One of the things I enjoyed the most were group discussions. So normally we usually divided ourselves into different groups and we had people that took various topics and taught it to the class. This was one thing I enjoyed very well because most times after the lecturer has had a class and your own classmates explain something to you, it comes out really better because you tend to understand it more. So that was something I really loved. Another thing I actually enjoyed was um, the interactions we had with different scientists in the laboratory. We had some scientists that went the extra mile to help us, took us on extra lessons and helped us with practicals. One of my most memorable experiences in, in this department was during our community posting in Igbora. We were sent to Igbora um, in the Barapa local government of other states for our community posting and it was my most memorable experience because we were able to see how things were being done in the rural um, environment and also our laboratory posting within UCH and also around other laboratories in, in other states also was a very memorable experience. We have really amazing lecturers that were ready to help and available most of the times. We also have great scientists who were really expert at what they do. They always took us through hands-on practical in the laboratory from time to time during our laboratory posting. We tried to create time out of no time to have the time of our lives. I mean, we had to go to school. We also needed to make school go through us. We had dinners, we had health weeks. I mean, the best of the best health weeks in the whole of College of Medicine. We had picnics, we had excursions, we had variety of things. We, we tried to make sure that we had interpersonal relationships with other members of the College of Medicine. We participated in USA activities. We did a whole couple of things. So we also had marriages. I mean, seven years is a long time for you not to move on with your life. We had people that gave birth to children. We had people that got proposed to. Some of us are still single. Some people are already engaged. We had a whole lot of activities going on, class bonding. We helped ourselves when we we're going through a lot. Nobody left the other person. We made sure to work together, keep each other's heads in the correct headspace. And we had fun, basically. That's just it. It was a long period, but we made sure to enjoy it while it lasted. Um, well, for me, some of the challenges I faced, you know, while I was uh, an undergraduate in this BMLS um, study was um, one, 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 one in particular was the strike. And it was very, very, you know, disheartening for me because this course was supposed to take about five years. And now I've already spent seven years plus. And to be honest, I am not very excited about that because it is not it is not a good thing to you know have to like delay and um, you know seeing your friends graduate and some of your friends even had of course they had four years and you know some of them are having their masters some even have, have, have even started their postgraduate studies and it was to be honest I just I just had to like you know act like okay you know God's time is the best and of course we are, we are always on um, different parts but that doesn't change the fact that the normal thing was you know finishing um, five years and you know this is seven years. While the journey has been generally fair and interesting it was not without some challenges an example of that would be when we were in school I think about the time we were crossing over to the clinical practice we had to take some other courses from the main college in the University of Ibadan so we had to shuttle between College of Medicine and UI which was really stressful there was also the issues of many courses at once but I guess that comes with the terrain. Um, another challenge we faced was that, was that of accommodation. We, for some reason, didn't have suitable accommodation in the College of Medicine in ABH and that posed a challenge to our education. Finally, we 
generally wasted more time than other people. Our course was supposed to run for five years and we ended up spending seven years, which is two years extra, partly due to the strike, partly due to coronavirus, but also there were some challenges within the department that affected us too. So yeah, while I enjoyed my stay in general, the challenges were also there. In my hand is the, or is my project, my dissertation, that will allow me to fully and permanently graduate from BMLS UI. 2023 sets. So what is the title of your project? So the title of my work is Assessment of Hepatic Function Amongst Occupational Firewood Burners in Oyo State, Nigeria. So my study actually aimed to see how the liver functions between people who are exposed to firewood smoke, who like people who fry gari on a regular basis and people that, let's say, help to transport and distribute those gari that they have fried to sell to the people. So I tried to compare, my study tried to compare how their liver was functioning and looked at some parameters to see how it compared to one another. But we see that those that were exposed to the firewood smoke, I mean those local people that burn gari on a daily basis, that cook gari on a daily basis, their liver function parameters was actually raised, was increased. And those for normal people that sell the items that distribute it for them was low and was normal. So we could see that the firewood smoke actually cause an increase in the liver function parameters and might actually cause damage to the liver on the long run. So, so what is your, in a simple plain language, yes. what, is, what do you advise the populace? The advice that I can say from my work is that exposure to firewood smoke should be limited in the sense that we should, um, we should take up more advanced methods of you know, generating energy in the sense of using gas to cook, which contains methanol and some um, volatile gases. Those are better than the fire which smoke. Congratulations! Finally, finally, you are done. I know it's been a difficult, difficult period of waiting and waiting, but eventually everything is through and you can move on to the next level, to the next step. So I wish you well. I wish you God's blessings. I wish you peace. I wish you joy. I wish you all the best things in life as you step out into the world to pave a way for a glorious career. And remember, always aspire to be the very best, do the very best. And of course, quote that with being humble and reaching out to everyone. Be a blessing as you step out today. God bless you.